Have you ever wondered how to make money online? Well, in this video, we're gonna talk about five ways that you can make $1,000 per month from just your cell phone or your laptop. So let's get started. The first way is selling merch, also known as print on demand. Now the average profit that people make selling t-shirts is $10 per t-shirt. And the average profit on sweatshirts is about 16 to $20. So let's make this easy and say you only sell t-shirts. To make $1,000, you're gonna need to sell 100 t-shirts per month. And between Amazon and Teespring, I really like that Teespring lets you connect to your YouTube channel so that your products show up as a banner at the bottom next to the subscribe button. This will mean that the majority of your sales are coming from your community. Thank you Gotham Guy 78 for the follow. But I really like that Amazon's print on demand lets you take advantage of Amazon's search traffic, meaning that your products are gonna be more visible to the general population and not limited to your own following. And the best part about this side hustle is that it's completely free. And once it's up and running, it becomes pretty much passive income. Everybody stay calm. Now, personally, I'm not very artistic, so I'll probably hire freelancers in order to create these designs and then upload them myself onto the websites. Okay, so the second income stream we're gonna talk about is YouTube AdSense. And the biggest reason that I'm making this video is I wanted to celebrate hitting the 1 million view milestone on my YouTube channel. So a huge shout out to everyone that watches these videos that smash the like button. I really appreciate it. First, we have to talk about what YouTube AdSense is. More specifically, it's Google AdSense. And you can think of it like the commercials you see when you're watching TV. And in order to make money from YouTube, you first have to get monetized, which requires 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers. Once you're monetized, the average YouTuber makes $7 per 1,000 views. And this statistic was calculated based off about 50 other YouTubers that have disclosed their earnings. So based on the average, it's going to take 142,000 views per month in order to make $1,000 per month. Now that number will vary based on what you're talking about in your videos. Different categories pay different amounts of money and business related content tends to pay the best. But now let's look at my analytics. And you can see that my RPM, which is how much money you'll take home per 1,000 views is about $30, which means I would only need to get about 33,000 views per month in order to make that $1,000 goal. And you know, while we're here, let me go ahead and show you how much money I've made in total from YouTube AdSense. All right, so we changed this to lifetime and you could see I've made $22,500. And my average pay per 1,000 views is $22. Now we could see that my pay wasn't always this high. When I first got monetized, it was June of 2020. And that first month, I only made $87. But as you could see, my income has been consistently growing. I wanna tell you just a couple of tips that'll really help you make better YouTube videos and in turn, make more money. That's money. That's like life money. And the first is that you can use something called the Flesh Kincaid Readability Score. You copy and paste your script that you made for your YouTube video into this website. And I personally use a website called HemingwayApp.com and it's totally free. And using AI, it's able to generate what reading level your script is. The goal is not to make your script overly complicated. You want to simplify as much as possible and make your content easy to understand. I also recommend that you use a title analyzer to show you how good your YouTube YouTube title is. That's another free tool and I'll leave the link to that in the description as well. But the biggest hack that I found is keeping your pacing really good. And the secret for good pacing is to edit out all of your breaths and any awkward pauses that are in the video. Now there is a tool that I personally use for this called ReCut. And I really love this platform because it lets me drag my video files into the app. And from there, it automatically edits out any pauses or breaths. And then I just export that into my editing software, which I use Final Cut Pro. Now, now, if you're interested in signing up for this app, then make sure to use my affiliate link because you'll get $10 off your purchase by signing up with getrecut.com forward slash Chris. The third way that you can make $1,000 per month online is with Skillshare. As a teacher, you get paid for the number of minutes watched by your students in your class every month. And every minute pays on average five to 10 cents. So if you have 1,000 students in your class, each student would only need to watch 10 minutes and that would equal 10,000 minutes watch. And that would equal about $1,000. And the cool thing is that you can become a Skillshare teacher without paying for a Skillshare membership. It's entirely free. No way, not a chance. 
No way. Of course, you have to make a class, which takes a lot of time, but once it's up and running, it becomes pretty much passive income. Now, the alternative to this is you could create a course that you list on your own website or on a platform like Teachable. And let's say you charge $199 for your course, meaning you would only need five sales per month to make that $1,000. But the reason I like the idea of Skillshare is because it has that built-in audience already. It has that search function, making it easier for people to find your courses. Number four is sponsorships. Now, personally, I did a sponsorship last year. It was really more of a scholarship because we got paid to learn. It was with Nas Academy and Metapurse, the person behind the $69 million NFT purchase, which was literally a historical event. 69 million? I think it probably means digital art is here to stay. I'm going to Disney World! And we were paid to simply learn about crypto and then post educational content. And from that, I earned three Ethereum over the course of three months, which works out to being roughly about $10,000. Now, if you're gonna try to go for sponsorships, make sure to find companies that fit well with your audience. We just hit 500 followers. I am literally so appreciative. Reach out to companies that you personally use and that you like, and don't underbid yourself. Also, a life hack for this is when you're making these brand deals, you can offer a package. So rather than just making a sponsored YouTube video, let's say you do a YouTube shout out, plus you make a TikTok that you also share onto Instagram Reels, and maybe you also tag them in two or three story posts, maybe even a Yelp review. Just try to get creative and provide more value because in turn, you can ask for more money. And number five is affiliates and referrals. So let's look at an example and say you're in the health and fitness niche and you're recommending that your audience purchase your favorite blender, which is the Vitamix, retailing at $397. And let's say that you signed up for the Amazon Associates program, which lets you earn a commission using your custom links. Well, for that category, you'll earn 4.5% commission on that $397 purchase, which equals $17.82 per sale. So to make $1,000 from this, you would need 56 sales per month of that blender using your referral link. Another example that I personally love is the Ibotta app, which lets you make real cash back from scanning your receipts. And everybody that signs up using your link will earn you $10. And yes, they will also earn $10. So it's a win-win. Other affiliate networks that you can look into are ClickBank, Impact.com, Target also has their own affiliate program, investing apps like Public.com and Coinbase, and even credit cards like Discover, Chase, and American Express. And as a bonus for sticking with me until the end, I have to include this. It's online surveys. So if you want to make $1,000 per month from online surveys, then you're you're gonna need to work about 115 hours or roughly 30 hours per week. And this is based on my own personal experience with sites like Amazon Mechanical Turk where I can earn about nine to $12 per hour. And that's a wrap. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more side hustle ideas and entrepreneurship, not financial advice. Alexa, play Kokomo by the Beach Boys. Kokomo by the Beach Boys from Spotify. Aruba, Jamaica.